the ranks of Russian Z War correspondents, there is an anxious anticipation in connection with the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region. They suspect that the Ukrainians may be preparing a new breakthrough. This opinion was also voiced by the famous Kremlin propagandist Alexander Kotz on the air of the radio station Komsomolskaya Pravda. Kotz claims that during the Kursk operation, the Ukrainian armed forces did not use all of their reserves. He is sure that new breakthroughs of the Ukrainian armed forces into the territory of the Russian Federation should be expected in the near future. I am concerned that the enemy may strike somewhere else. These may be different directions. There may be a strike in the Belgorod region, maybe in the Kursk direction in the Tetkino area, maybe from the side of that very Glukov city in the Sumy region. There are very powerful forest areas directly adjacent to our border, and from there it is possible to develop an offensive, for example, on that very Rilsk or in the direction of the Bryansk region. We have not seen all the reserves. We do not see aviation. We do not see Western tanks. We do not see massive work of Western artillery. Somewhere this is being held for some reason, said the Z War correspondent. He believes that Ukraine is now accumulating reserves in various places in order to use its favorite tactic of small mobile groups to break through the border again and wedge itself deep into Russia. Kotz suspects that the Ukrainian armed forces will try to take back as many of Russia's territories as possible in order to exchange them for their own. Recently, some telegram channels have reported an attempted incursion by Ukrainian forces into Russia's Belgorod region. However, accounts of the scale of the operation vary widely. The region's governor confirmed that the situation at the border remains difficult. Belgorod sits directly across the border from Ukraine's Kharkiv region and has been subjected to repeated shelling and drone attacks by Kyiv's forces since May 2023. With the Kursk operation, Ukraine can illuminate the hollowness of Russia's strategic deception narratives and with that enhance Ukraine's ability to create a peace that is acceptable for Ukraine. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has officially confirmed the destruction of a Su-30SM worth approximately $50 million in the Black Sea. A dive into the depths, reconnaissance aircraft in the Black Sea destroyed a Russian aircraft, the department's press service reported on September 12. During an operation in the Black Sea, Soldiers of the Special Forces Unit of the Main Intelligence Directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine destroyed a Russian Su-30SM combat aircraft with a hit from a manpads. The fighter that fell into the sea belonged to the 43rd Separate Naval Aviation Regiment of the Russian Aerospace Forces, which is based at the airfield of the city of Saki in the temporarily occupied Crimea. The cost of such an aircraft is approximately $50 million, the statement said. The occupiers lost contact with their combat aircraft on September 11 at about 5 o'clock. Approximately three hours later, the Russians began a search and rescue operation involving an N-26 aircraft, as well as Mi-8 and Ka-27 helicopters. At lunchtime, the hijackers reported to the command about the discovery of a characteristic stain of aviation fuel in the sea, 70 kilometers northwest of Cape Tarkhankit, and soon they saw the wreckage of the destroyed Su-30SM. This plane was one of the ones that fired Ukraine in missile.